In the fall of 1948, Air Force investigators were convinced by the testimony of pilots. In a remarkable top secret report to General Hoyt Vandenberg, the Air Force's chief of staff, the investigators said the Earth was being visited by alien spaceships. They took it so seriously that they risked their own careers by writing an estimate of the situation that they sent on to higher headquarters and said that UFOs, these, some of these UFOs could be extraterrestrial, which of course was not received well by, uh, by the Pentagon. Hoyt Vandenberg looked at this thing and he said, I cannot accept this. I cannot accept this kind of conclusion because you don't have concrete proof that that's what kind of a device we're dealing with. The eyewitness accounts from experienced pilots were not enough for the general. The Air Force wanted the flying saucer phenomena to go away. But the popular fascination with mysterious flying objects was growing. In 1952, the Air Force received more UFO reports than any other year in history. The sky is the stage, the actors, so-called flying saucers. And they're back on the scene with some new twists. This is a photograph of a flying saucer taken by myself, and it reminded me of two straw hats stuck together at the brim. I saw an intensely bright, white green object in the sky. Now, I wouldn't want to say that this was one of those so-called flying saucers, but whatever it was, it was an object and not an illusion. The Air Force had really tried to downplay the UFO problem, but by the summer of 1952, there was an enormous wave of sightings. There were hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of sightings. Most alarmingly, the sightings were focused on Washington, D.C. At least three radar systems in Washington in the area were picking up unidentified targets. This very much worried people in Washington because it looked like penetration of the most important airspace in the country. In July 1952, the Pentagon's communication system was overwhelmed by calls about UFOs. The number of calls of frightened Americans, hysterical Americans, coming into the switchboards of the American government were clogging communication channels. And if American communication channels were clogged, then this would leave America vulnerable to a potential Soviet attack. So the task is calm the Fuhrer, end the hysteria. It was public hysteria, not the flying saucers themselves, that threatened the national security. President Truman ordered the CIA to make recommendations on how the Air Force should handle the UFO problem. The CIA convened a panel headed by the physicist H.P. Robertson. The Robertson panel says, we must do something to remove the aura of mystery from the UFO phenomena so that people no longer take them seriously and don't bother to report them. That's what we want. 